the mouse and the mouse trap. When the farmer's wife bought a mouse trap, the mouse was very worried and ran to the chicken in the yard, shouting in its little voice, Help! There's a mouse trap in the house. What shall we do? The chicken replied, Well, Mr. Mouse, this has nothing to do with me. So the mouse ran to the pigsty and said to the fat pig in his little voice, Help! There's a mouse trap in the house. What shall we do? The fat pig replied, Well, Mr. Mouse, this has nothing to do with me. So the mouse ran into the field to the big bull and said in his little voice, Help! There's a mouse trap in the house. What shall we do? The big bull replied, Well, Mr. Mouse, this has nothing to do with me. So the worried and now dejected mouse returned to the house. A short while later, a snake slithered into the house, set off the mouse trap, and in agony bit the farmer's wife on the ankle. She suffered a fever, and the doctor recommended chicken soup to help her recover. So the farmer killed the chicken and made the soup. When the farmer's friends came around to help look after his wife, they were hungry, so he killed the pig to feed them. And when, sadly, she died, and even more people came to the funeral, he killed the bull to feed all of them. Afterwards, in disgust at what had happened with the snake, the farmer threw away the mouse trap. You see, in this increasingly interconnected world, we can't afford to ignore the plight of others, either within your organisation, your community, or the world. If the sales team is struggling under the pressure of work and you don't support them, you could lose your job in cost-cutting. If someone is being bullied and you ignore it, then you could soon suffer the same fate. If the next village loses its fight against the developers, your village could be next. If we all ignore the plight of immigrants from war zones, we could all suffer the impact of extremist terrorism. If known sex predators in Hollywood or elsewhere are tolerated, then don't be surprised if someone you know is attacked. And if you choose to ignore the pleas for more budget for mental health issues, don't be surprised if someone you know becomes one of the one in four people who suffer from it during their lives. As John Donne, the 17th century philosopher and poet, famously said, no man is an island entire of itself. Never more true than in the modern world. So next time you hear a little voice asking for help, don't ignore it, for their sake and for yours. Vic's Fascinating Fables, Stories to Make You Think. Brought to you by Vic, your virtual interactive coach. Dedicated to helping you, your team and your family achieve and celebrate more success with less stress.